Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well, this year in January I've been constantly busy with some big and complicated projects. First of all, I've turned Barbie into Donald Trump. It wasn't that easy. Then I was working on the Indian Princess doll. It also had quite a lot of details and it required quite a lot of research. And then the last week I've made a dark siren, a Capricorn doll. It was also a very special one. So I think today it's time finally for something tiny, cute, funny. Well, for example, it's time for another LOL doll makeover. Because you know, I really love these tiny dolls. They really seem very cute to me and I don't even sell them. I still have all my LOL repaints here staying on the background. So, what are we going to do today? A couple of weeks ago, actually probably already a couple of months ago, time flies, I've made this March Simpson doll. And I didn't even put this doll for sale because I have plans to continue working on my Simpson family, Simpson collection. So, I think we can perfectly turn this LOL doll. I have no idea who is sitting there inside, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to re-sculpt everything completely and paint it yellow. So I think this LOL doll is going to become an absolutely ideal Maggie Simpson for my March. I think they're going to look absolutely beautiful together. So first of all, we're going to unbox this package. We need more plastic, I think, in nature. And then we're going to start working. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, support me, of course, with your likes while I'm working here. Yeah, let's start! So, and here is the doll. I don't know, is it gonna be mini Melanie Martinez or what? And again, dear makers of this doll, do you really think that this super tiny piece requires this huge plastic bag? I don't know, this is just unbelievable, really. And then I've even got the second pair of the bracelets. I guess this is just a mistake because they're exactly the same and there is just no place where I could put two more bracelets. Well, lucky me, I've got even more plastic. So this is our doll. She looks very cute, I think. I love these mini LOL dolls. Their cuteness, it kind of works for me. And this is actually this doll from the collection, the metal hat. And this one I've got already before. I've repainted it already also. So now we're going to undress her again, cut her hair off, and then I will remove her face with pure acetone. Thank you. 
I cannot go inside of this doll's head because of its construction. So I'm simply plucking out the rest of the short hair with the tweezers. Now let's take one of my most favorite art supplies on the earth, the epoxy sculpt, and let's transform this doll's face, trying to make her look a little bit kind of like Maggie. And my epoxy sculpt is almost out, by the way, but I've got already two other pots, even in a bigger format. So, being halfway busy, I've predictably ran out of the epoxy sculpt, so I had to open the new boxes of it, and it's exactly the same one, but it just has a darker color. I was even thinking for a while about keeping the hole in her mouth to use it later for a pacifier. But Maggie's mouth is actually a little bit lower than the one from this doll, so I will have to make a new hole later. So now I can let the head dry for 24 hours and then I will cover it with yellow acrylics using my airbrush. And yes, I had to probably make the hole in her mouth first before applying the paint, but it's never too late, so let's do it now using my Dremel tool and then I will continue applying the paint. Thank you. 
And then I also apply white acrylics to the eyeballs. After this I can cover the face and the body with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I'm going to blush the face and the body with soft pastels. I'm not going to draw any harsh shadows today, just a layer of a little bit darker yellow pastels to show better the volume, the 3D effect. And then I also add some grey shadows to the eyes. So now we can make the outfit for our Maggie and I'm going to use this seal clay to sculpt it. When the clay becomes completely dry, I cover it with blue acrylics and I also let it dry. Now it's time to make the accessories and I will need some warbler thermoplastic for it. And let's start probably with making the pacifier.
Another important detail of Maggie's look is a blue bow on the front of her head, so let's make it as well. And I think I also want to make a milk bottle for her to complete the look. So and here is my mini Maggie! You know it already, I really love this tiny doll, so I will not even tell you how much I adore this girl today, because of course I do. And I think she has become a beautiful member of our mini family of the LOL dolls. Here she is with her other little friends. And here she is, by the way, with her mom. What a beautiful family reunion, finally! Now my March will not feel lonely anymore. I'm so happy for her, guys, you cannot imagine. I don't know, I will probably not make the other members of the Simpsons family, because they would look all pretty similar, I guess. Like, if you've seen how I've made this March doll, for example, you could already imagine how Homer would look. But anyway, please tell me what you think about it. If you tell me to make more of them, I will make more of them, because I listen to you, because you are the one who is watching in the end. And also, please don't forget to tell me what you think about this transformation. And also, if you have any good ideas for my future, LOL doll repaints, please don't hesitate to write them in the comments as well. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I'm going to see you already very soon next week Friday in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.